You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Monday, May 13th, 2019. It is also the feast day of Our Lady of Fatima. This week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we are going to be talking about Fatima. We are going to be talking about the great feast day that we are celebrating today, the children she appeared to, the message that Mary had for the whole world, both specifically at that moment and also things that we still need to learn today. We are going to talk about the great miracles and what happened to these visionaries after Mary appeared to them. Now, Fatima took place in 1917, so 102 years ago. And there are many things that we can learn from this. But for today, we are going to talk about the fact that Mary appeared to three children. Three children that maybe are about the same age that you are. The three children that she appeared to were Lucia, and her two cousins, Francisco and Jacinta. Now, she appeared to them in a small town in Portugal, and that town's name is Fatima. That is why we refer to her as Our Lady of Fatima. Now, these children weren't anything very special, you might think. They were poor children. They were asked to watch over their family's sheep while their family was doing other tasks. And in fact, Mary appeared to these three children while they were watching their sheep in the pasture. However, before she appeared to them, and she appeared to them for the first day on May 13th, 1917, so exactly 102 years ago today, But before she appeared to them, she sent an angel to them. The angel identified himself as the angel of Portugal. He appeared to them several times in the months before Mary appeared, and he taught them how to pray. Before the angel's vision, the children were good. They were Catholic and they prayed, but they were a little bit lazy. Their parents had told them that they needed to pray the rosary before they could pre- before they could play out in the pasture with their sheep. But they would pray the rosary as quickly as possible. Instead of saying the whole prayer, they would simply say the title of the prayer. So they would say, Hail Mary, Hail Mary, Hail Mary, Hail Mary, and not the full prayer. So they were good, but they were a little bit lazy. The angel of Portugal appeared to them and impressed upon them the importance of real prayer, of being dedicated to prayer, and he also taught them another very simple prayer. The prayer that he taught them is this prayer. Oh my God, I believe, I adore, I hope, and I love you. And I beg pardon for all those who do not believe, who do not adore, who do not hope, and who do not love you. So that's the prayer that the angel taught them. And these three children became very serious about the prayer. They would oftentimes say that simple prayer over and over again, kneeling. And through this, their hearts were really genuinely prepared to receive Mary. Mary first appeared to them on May 13th, and she continued to appear to them on the 13th of the month all the way through October. She had many incredible things to share with them, including some secrets that were revealed many, many years after the visions. But we will get to those on another day. For today, I have a challenge for you, and I want you to know that you will have just one challenge all week, but it's kind of a bigger one. I challenge you to pray a rosary, a whole rosary, all five decades. Now, the reason why I challenge you to do this is because Mary challenged the three visionary children to pray a whole rosary, often, every single day. Now, sometimes we think that children, perhaps, can't pray a rosary, and maybe they'll think it's too boring or too long. Well, Mary didn't think that. Mary thought, in fact, that it was important that the children pray a whole rosary, So that's a challenge. I want you to really take that seriously. And by the end of the week, 
just once, have prayed a whole rosary. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God intended you to be. And finally, a quick note to the grown-ups. First of all, thank you for listening to the Catholic Sprouts podcast. I ask that you please consider sharing this podcast with another Catholic family you know. Send them an email, a text, or simply mention it the next time you see them. Please join me in the mission of helping each Catholic child truly sprout into the wonderful human that God created them to be.